Hello, everyone. Today's video is going to be about the Gladinet Cloud Enterprise and its integration of Active Directory Home Directory. You are very familiar with the Active Directory Home Directory in a local area network. Whenever you have an Active Directory domain controller, you can have a home directory. For example, this user2 ha has uh, an X drive mapped to a, a shared home directory folder. And we can go and take a look at this home directory folder. So it has user1, user2, and then in the user2's home directory, there's a user2 home directory.txt file to give a visual hint of that's the user2's home directory. So now we are going to a different server in the same domain. It's a Windows Server 2012 and logging as this user2. So once we log in, we need to verify that the home directory is there. The active directory home directory setting is correct. So now we are waiting for the server to log in and we're going to verify. There you go. You see this X drive mapped to user2's home directories through the active directory home folder setting. So this is all pretty traditional stuff. We all know that it's nothing new. But now we are going to see the really exciting stuff. After we verify that the home directory setting for user2 is good. So here comes the exciting stuff, the Gladinet Cloud Enterprise. So we got this package downloaded already, so we are going to install the package. It's a Windows installer package um, together with a readme file. So we just extract the, uh, the package to get the Windows in installer so we can start installing. And take a look at the time now. It's 10.57 p.m. So we're going to show you the installation is going to take less than five minutes. So 10.57, let's click on the Gladinet Cloud Enterprise installer to get it started. So all the recording here is done in real time without video editing. So uh, Whatever time it takes to install the software is the actual time um, that's happening right now. So now it's installing the files, copying files from the installer to the local file system here. The installer is about 100, you know, 120 meg in that range. So there's quite some files to copy over. So just wait for it to happen. So it's 10.58, now it's barely one minute. And re remember the goal of this session is to show you that you can access your Active Directory home directory in a brand new way, such as accessing that through the web browser, through your iPhone, Android, Windows Phone, and Windows RT devices and you don't have to be confined in a local area network. Some people refer to it as like a Dropbox alternative uh, with Active Directory Home Directory. So two minutes into the installation, it's still copying the files. And now the installer is using some built-in Server 2012 tools to check the prerequisites, you know, such as the ASP.NET, such as the WCF activation, and all those, those components that uh, you could use the Microsoft Platform Installer to install. So now here comes the database part. Most of the time, you just click Next, uh, test the connection, and go Next, right? So you just connect to a local host localhost SQL Server Express. That's more than good enough. You don't have to use a full-featured uh, SQL Server. Just use a SQL Server Express is good enough. And now it's installing the SQL Server scripts into the database. And the database is storing some lightweighted configuration information such as the username 
uh, the shared folder, Active Directory configuration, and all that. Now the installation is done, right? So, so like three minutes, it's done, but there's still some uh, restarting and um, restart configuration. Initial configuration needs to be done. So, um, so we just wait for it to reboot, and after reboot, we will continue. So now the reboot is done. We will be logging back in to user two. So user two now logs in. Different system services are starting. So. We just wait for the initial configuration window to show up. You can see the Internet Explorer is pulling the initial configuration page up. So now the first thing to do is to create a default admin account, which is the admin for the whole Gladinet Cloud Enterprise. It's kind of like the root user. So this user is not going to be an Active Directory user because um, you would create a user first before you connect with the Active Directory. So this may be the one and only one uh, user that that's not a user from the Active Directory. So we recommend the user a non-active directory user for this admin. And you're going to configure the external URL later with SSL and so just leave it as default, that's fine. The second step, we are going to be connecting to an active directory. So the active directory is on a fixed IP address, so we're going to be using um, the fixed IP address to connect to it. And then the friendly domain name typically would be the same domain name um, you are seeing from the Active Directory uh, utilities in the, in the in the tree view are going to see the domain name and the username should be one of the Active Directory user who's capable of um, polling the Active Directory information and this step publish users home drive this step is very important if you want to have users home drive exposed to um, when after each user logs in, so this the the, the when we are configuring conf, um, for the default admin, the default admin is not an Active Directory user, so we need to give him um, a storage space, so 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 his account can can operate normally. So we just create a new folder on the local C drive and we will be using that for this default Gladinet Cloud Enterprise Admin. So now the whole system is set up. It's finished. The configuration, the installation, the initial configuration is done. It's 11.06, so uh, we started at uh, 10.57, so it's barely 10 minutes. And we haven't touched the Active Directory Home Directory integration yet uh, because this user we are logging in is the default admin user, so we will be logging off and log in as a real Active Directory user who's going to be using the system here. And you can hover over the title here, you can see this is Geo Admin. This is not an Active Directory user. 
So we log off, and we now will be logged in as an Active Directory user. Okay, so it doesn't like this kind of login format. So we will be using user to add、um, test dot gladinet dot com format to log in. So this is the first time we log in, and we immediately see this user to homeder dot txt file. And remember, we put this file into users homeder as a visual hint that we are seeing users home directory, and that's confirmed by the、uh, Microsoft Network Share the traditional way. So now we will be creating a folder in the traditional way using the Microsoft Network Share. So it, we're going We're going to name the folder "Folder Created Traditional Way." And as soon as the folder is created, you can refresh the web browser view, and you can see this browser,、uh, this new folder is showing up immediately. And now we can also create a folder the modern way.、Um, you can create a folder using the browser, or you can use create a Uh, folder using your iPhone device, your Android device, your Windows Phone device, or your remote、uh, Windows PC over the internet. So it's kind of like a Dropbox box kind of like functionality that's built around your Active Directory home directory as your backend storage. You don't need to use any. Anyone else, anybody else's storage, just use your own Active Directory home directory, and you can that storage can power your、um, all-around accessing solution here. That's all. Thank you very much.